Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss in details about the importance of economics in engineering, along with the scopes or subject matter of economics, and the three basic problems of an economy. This video is a part of our course on engineering economics. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here. We come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Before starting the course on engineering economics, it's important for the students to know, why engineers should study economics. Engineers should study economics for multiple notable reasons, some of which are the following. To understand the basic of economics as a branch of study. To understand the decision-making process of economics. To understand the monetary policy of a country. To understand the fiscal policy of the country. To understand trade and commerce. To understand project cost benefits analysis. To understand basics of inflation, deflation, interest rate etc. To understand the banking system. To understand the basics of taxation. To understand the factors of production etc. Now that we have learnt about why we should study economics, let us look into the scopes of economics, or subject matter of economics. Different economists view economics from different perspectives. From the notable definitions of different scholars, we can conclude the following subject matter of economics. Economics is a social science. Economics discusses about the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. Economics is a science that studies about the alternatives uses of scarce resources. Economics studies the welfare of mankind. Economics focuses on fulfilling the needs of people and maximizing the benefits. Economics helps in decision making. Economics is an impartial science. Economics shows ways to solution of problems etc. So, now that we know why we should study economics, and what are the subject matter of economics, let's look into the basic problems of an economy. The following are the three basic problems of an economy. What to produce. The problem what to produce can be divided into two related questions. First, which goods are to be produced and which not, and second, in what quantities those goods, which the economy has decided to produce, are to be produced. If productive resources were unlimited we could produce as many numbers of goods as we liked and, therefore, the question what goods to be produced and what not would not have arisen. But because resources are in fact scarce relative to human wants, an economy must choose among different alternative collections of goods and services that it should produce. Then, the question arises, how to produce. The problem of how to produce means which combination of resources is to be used for the production of goods and which technology is to be made use of in production. Once the society has decided what goods and services are to be produced and in what quantities, it must then decide how these goods shall be produced. There are various alternative methods of producing a good and the economy has to choose among them. For example, cloth can be produced either with automatic looms or with power looms or with hand looms. Fields can be irrigated, and hence wheat can be produced, by building small irrigation works like tube wells and tanks or by building large canals and dams. Therefore, the economy has to decide whether cloth is to be produced by hand looms or power looms or automatic looms. Similarly, it has to decide if the irrigation has to be done by minor irrigation works or by major works. Obviously, it is a problem of the choice of production techniques. The final problem question is, for whom to produce? Once the problems of what and how to produce are solved, the goods are then produced. Because the resources and the resulting output of goods are limited, the third basic economic decision, which must be taken, is for whom to produce. For whom to produce means how the national product is to be distributed among the members of the society. In other words, for whom to produce means that should get how much of the total amount of goods and services produced in the economy. Thus, the third problem is the problem of sharing of the national product. Distribution of the national product depends on the distribution of national income. Those people who have larger incomes would have larger capacity to buy goods and hence will get greater share of goods and services. So, 
we have learnt in details about the importance of economics in engineering, along with the scopes or subject matter of economics and the three basic problems of an economy. Thank you.